Today at Two Day Pass, we're on number eight of the 10 most common reasons. I got it right. The 10 most common reasons why people fail their driving test anywhere, but we're at Greenford Driving Test Center, which is really complicated. Now, today's video is gonna cover number eight, which is positioning normal driving. On the last video, I was talking about bus lanes. And I was talking about failing for reason number nine, which was response to signs, road markings. And that was going over the bus lane, solid white line, when you're not allowed. So that would be an incorrect response to the road marking. It could be classed as actual traffic signs as well. And this number eight, what we're on now, is position normal driving. Bus lanes, if you can use them, will normally be on the left-hand side of the road, and this is the position for normal driving. So if you do not use the bus lane when you are allowed to use the bus lane, and you'll know by reading the sign and seeing the times, which funnily enough, on the route that we're on, which I have stressed on the previous videos, most one of the most common routes following the signs of Rainer's Lane will tie in to one of the junctions that I'm almost about to come to further down the road. So if you do not use the bus lane when you are allowed to use the bus lane, you can potentially fail your driving test, receive a serious fall for position normal driving. Now another part of this video, which we will come to towards the end, I will be joining the dual carriageway. Now when I join the dual carriageway, if I do not use the left lane, if it's safe and necessary, then I can receive a serious fault for position normal driving. This is very common at Greenford because a lot of people will join the dual carriageway, they'll be asked to follow signs, and if they follow the signs correctly, this means you have to move out of the left lane and move into the center lane to follow the signs ahead. Therefore, when this exit lane which you left to join the center lane finishes, then further down the road a new entry lane will begin. This lane will continue. If you don't proceed to move back into the left lane for normal driving, you will fail your driving test. This is the independent drive following the signs to Rainer's Lane. You may have a sat nav which will guide you on this. Guys, you guessed it. If you like the video, if it's giving you some value, gently touch the thumbs up and give us a like. And stay tuned over here, not over there on the roundabout, but over here, I'm going straight Rainer's Lane, is the next video. So I'll see you there.